Hi, and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching episode eight of my Mystery Monthly Minis. I'm Toby, and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to episode eight of my Mystery Monthly Minis. If you've seen this before and you know how it works, then just skip straight forward to the tasting. Otherwise, the way this works is I have over 150 samples in my sample collection and I'm just not getting around to drinking them. So I got my wife to randomly pick one and pour it into this blue Glencairn glass. I'll nose it, I'll taste it, I'll tell you if I like it and I'll have a stab at what I think it is. Shall we find out what I'm drinking? On to the whiskey. Right, so let's start with the nose. Right, so this is, this is heaven. This is, uh, this is lovely and sweet. It's got caramel, it's got fudge, it's got butter. There's a slight funkiness in there, like diesel oil, malted cereal. I'm getting oats, I'm getting brown sugar. There's so much going on with this. It's um, instantly reminds me of a Scotch. Could be possibly a uh, Highland or a Campbelltown. Yeah, there's a really nice sort of cereal funkiness, which comes across like um, the sort of petrochemicals, like, like diesel oil. It's, yeah, it's really nice. There's a dampness in there as well. I know I might not be selling this to some people, but this, yeah, this smells lovely. It really is nice. Even possibly a hint of peat in there. Yeah, it's lovely. Let's um, let's try it on the palate. I'm not certain if this is peaty. There is like a, a smoke, possibly strong barrel char. Lots of malted cereal, heat. I reckon this is quite high ABV. At least 50%, I'd say. Really is activating the uh, the taste buds. I'm getting lots of tingly pepper on the tongue, and that rolls really well with the the sweetness that's uh, coming from this dram. Let's have another sip. Yeah, this is quite tannic. It's sort of sucking my cheeks in. I think the tannins are coming from a wine, a wine influence, red wine or sherry. Really sweet and fruity. There's like um, caramel. There's a shortbread biscuit note in there. And with that sip, the heat level is building. It's really tingling my tongue, a bit, a bit like popping candy. It really is, um, really is going on and on and on finish with this is um, really quite lengthy. I'd say this probably is a scotch, um, Highland or Campbelltown, I don't think I could narrow it down further. I'm hoping there's a wine influence because this um, really is quite fruity. I'm getting like apples and dark fruits and raisins, really is, really is nice. And that cereal note and lots of char, I don't think there's peat, it might be peated, but there's I think I'm picking up loads of char and, and you know, sort of toasted barrels. It really is um, quite woody with the with that smoky note, but yeah, I don't think it's peat, but I might be wrong. Um, yeah, very nice. Should we find out what I'm drinking? Right, so it's a Long Row 17 single cask Swedish release. It's 51.1% ABV and it was sent to me by Rolf Ebhead. Well, obviously Long Row is a Campbelltown whiskey, so I hit the nail on the head there. Um, I don't know if this does have a wine influence. Um, if it does, and I, or if I can find out if it does, I'll put that on screen now. And I said at least 50% ABV, so 51.1% I think is very, very close. 
It certainly is a tasty whiskey. Rolf definitely knows his whiskey very well and uh, I'm so pleased he sent it to me because this is a stunning dram and whatever's left in the glass, I'm gonna enjoy off camera and hopefully I'll see you for the next one. Sauncha. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? And please consider subscribing for more videos like this.